That is absolutely unreal. I am parked up next to the church, about 700 meters away from my house. Oh, and shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring the video. I'm going to blow your mind today. And if your mind isn't blown by the end of the video, let us know in the comments, because this in this box is mental. Between you and I, I've got no idea if it's going to actually work or not. I've ordered it off a Chinese website, and it's promising a Wi-Fi signal that can go through not one brick wall, not two brick walls, how about five? How about one to three kilometers of range? Yet yeah, your home's Wi-Fi going one to three kilometers is apparently in this box. You know how normal Wi-Fi in your house runs at between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz? This is below 1 gigahertz, so it can penetrate objects. That's what they're saying. Obviously, the speeds aren't going to be mad, but they should be just enough. So in the box, it looks like we've got our transmitter and receiver, which both have their corresponding ports on. Two antennas and a single power cable and a manual. I think they've missed out one of our power cables. Shouldn't need this because these devices are apparently dumb. There's no configuration. They're configured out of the box and you can't even really access them. So before we do some real world testing, I'm just gonna test here in the studio by taking one of our LAN connections. This is then gonna go into the transmitter portion of our link, as well as the respective power cable. And as you can see, we've got some activity here, what looks like some signal lights and a power light there. So I mentioned there's numerous ways to get these powered up. This is something I had lying around, USB to barrel. So this can go into here, and then we should be able to take a power bank and get this thing powered up, yes. And as you can see, it's lit up and they're connected. So this now, if you like, is a completely wireless solution with obviously a LAN port on here. So let's get plugged into there and see what speeds we're pulling. So now if we go to settings, ethernet, dock, we can see that we've picked up an IP address from my router. This here is our wireless bridge. So let's run a speed test. Now, this isn't going to be crazy because it's sub one gigahertz, but as you can see, I'm pulling a respectable 17 and a half megabits per second over this link. Now, you're probably thinking, that's not very fast. My current Wi-Fi is loads faster than that. Yeah, okay, the magic hasn't happened yet. Wait until you see, hopefully, how far these things can go and still maintain that speed. Okay, so. Let's undertake some scientific tests in the house. I mentioned about powering these things. I also found these things on Amazon. This takes PoE from an ethernet and then gives you data and power in the form of a barrel plug. And theoretically, anywhere I go around the house, this thing should stay connected. It's connected up straight away. I've got internet access. So yeah, as you can see, two floors down and I'm getting a solid 18 meg. I've never actually found a use for this seller before. I've got one bar of 4G and I doubt that's even gonna work. Okay, so bear in mind the transmitter unit's on the third floor of my house. We're now in the cellar, so underground. And let's see what this thing can pick up, if anything at all. Yeah, there you go, 17 meg. There's no service in here and I've got 18 meg through this plastic box. You see how this has blown my mind a little bit? So obviously it's safe to say that this house is completely no match for Wi-Fi Halo. So I'm gonna have to wait till the sun comes up tomorrow so we can do some more long distance tests. I was so excited to wake up this morning knowing that testing this was the first thing on my agenda and this is what I've come up with. As you can see here, we've got the transmitter unit and just so we can test this, I've secured it to this post with an elastic band. If I feed it the PoE, this thing should then light up. Now luckily enough, I've got the perfect platform to test this and as you can see, I've got the transmitter up there. So hopefully we can go and do a range test. So I found a road I think we can use about 1.1 kilometers away. If we go and stand here, we should be able to have line of sight and do a range test. So let's take the receiver and see if we can pick up a signal. You join me above a very busy, very windy A1 in the UK. And about 1.1 kilometers that way is my house. I can't even see it. I don't even know if this is going to work. It's probably not. So now this little device, as you can see, is powered on. The ethernet is connected and 
it has one bar of signal. Huh. Okay, then let's head to Safari and see if we can get to Google. And there she is. Just like that, Google has loaded up. Okay, now let's try something a bit more demanding. Try to load Apple's website. And there we go, the images are loading in. I'm online using my home's internet. It's not very fast. Okay, so as you can see, these speed results aren't great. We're getting about four meg, averaging two meg on the download speed, but the ping is still really respectable here. And there is no line of sight between me and my house, and I am over a kilometer away. Now, I've set up the camera. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but I'm driving down my high street right now, and this thing is remaining connected as I am literally driving down the road, which is bonkers. Look at it. No way. That is absolutely unreal. I am parked up next to the church about 700 meters away from my house. <laughs> That's unbelievable. So what have we learned today in our little experiment? Well, Wi-Fi is much better than that of the 2.4 and 5 that we're all used to with this new standard opening up. You can pick this stuff up off the shelf and have it at your door in about five days and spread your home's Wi-Fi signal for kilometers after kilometer. Now, there's that many things that you could do with this. You almost get a bit stuck thinking, what can I actually do? Well. Don't worry, I've thought of some cool ideas. A lot of this spawns off the very fact that this is low powered via USB in this case. So we've got our receiver here with our ethernet on the end. We could attach a USB powered Wi-Fi hotspot. Take this anywhere around our land or within a kilometer of the transmitter unit. And we've got our own little portable Wi-Fi hotspot that our phones and tablets can pick up. Another option, something a little bit more serious would be for security, or let's say you've got a large property with a gate a kilometer away from the house. You need to get internet down to the gate because you've got an intercom there, a two-way phone system maybe, or your gate controls need an internet connection to receive commands. Well, this is the perfect solution for that. Maybe you've got some security cameras that you want to put somewhere, but they're in a quite obscure place. You don't know how you're going to get broadband there. You take a security camera, this one, a cheap one from EasyViz with an Ethernet port on the back. You connect this into this. This is USB powered. You've got a security camera, a wireless one that has a kilometer of range. So hopefully in today's video, you've learned something that you didn't know. How to take your home's Wi-Fi and extend it with these devices, give you LAN connection anywhere within the kilometer of your house. I think this is sick being a networking engineer myself. The one thing I am concerned about though is making this video because the moment I release this, everybody's gonna know about this technology and I'm gonna hazard a guess that when the airwaves get busy with this stuff, when everybody has them, you're probably not then gonna see 17 meg over them when it's all really congested. But until then, these are sick, and I need to thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Guys, if you've not heard of Squarespace before, it's basically the all-in-one platform to build your website. A cheat code, if you will. You basically, right at the start, choose from one of the thousands of professionally designed templates, and this is just a base. You can then upload all your own text, customize it, images, logos, make it yours. It's like copy my homework, but make it better and still get great marks. A lot of people are now selling things online too. This can also be done through Squarespace. E-commerce is built right in. The domain is the www.bit, you know, the actual website name. If you want to custom one of them, Squarespace will also sort it under the one roof. So if that does sound good to you, then feel free to use our code TECHFLOW and that will save you 10% off your first Squarespace purchase or domain. Links are down there below. Thanks to Squarespace. Thanks to you guys. Yeah, welcome to 2024. This stuff's sick. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank <music> you.